Hi, YouTube. It's Southern Alexander 158, and I, from the Mass Assassins, and I have completed the movie Brightburn. So before uh, you guys get to thinking that it's a spoiler alert or anything like that in the video, I I wouldn't say that. I don't think that it is. Um, I'm not going to give any details, major details of the movie, just my opinion of the movie. Um, I did like the movie. I did enjoy the movie. Um... It is definitely a rated R movie. This is not a movie to take your children to see. If your children are under the age of 13, 15, I would not take them to see this movie at all. It is, It can, it does get a bit gruesome. Uh, so I would definitely say do not take an 8-year-old or 6-year-old or uh, any child of that age to see this movie. Um, it did thicken up quick. Uh, it did not take too long to get get headed in the right direction. Uh, so I did like the movie. Um, I did like the way, the pace of the movie. Um, as I said, the killings, the deaths were just as gruesome as they can be. Um, I did not like the mix of, I didn't like the timeline, I'll say that. I didn't like the fact that it showed things that happened in 2006 and sped forward to 2018, but it still act like it was stuck back in, 1985 or 84 or 82. Uh, it, the timeline didn't. The movie didn't keep up with the timeline. It, it it looked as if you were stuck back in the 80s doing 90s and 2000s shit. So. Um, well, it is rated R, so. Yeah. Um, definitely. That was that was definitely uh, the only downside to the movie that I that I did see. Um, a little more common sense could have been used in the movie. Um, and, and that was that was it. I, I just think that uh, other than those things, a little more common sense in the timeline not matching up as well as it could have for the budget that they had. Then uh, it, it did a very good good job with the movie. So I do recommend that anybody that's looking to go see Brightburn, uh, you will not waste your money. It is a it is a movie to go see, uh, especially if you're into the horror and gore and and all of that. Then you will definitely get it. Um, it's not exactly what if Superman was going bad as uh, as if the way it was put out or what other people had suggested it being. Um, it is similar to Superman in the way he came to Earth and uh, a mix of Man of Steel of how he found out about his powers in somewhat similar fashion and, and the motherly love he got from his mother. But the eyes, I think I think it's a little different movie. Uh, but it is good. Like I say, it's definitely worth the watch. It is definitely uh, worth all the blood and gore that you do get out of the movie. So if you're looking to go see Bright Burn, then there it is. I suggest you go see it. Um, what about you, Tiana? You think they should go see the movie? I think it was good. I was worried that it was going to be like one of them little haunted type of spirit madness. But it wasn't. For me to say that is a big deal because I don't like this movie. So... It was good. I think it was good. It was def it's definitely not one to take the kids to. It's going to be some nightmares and things like that going on. So don't do that. But it was good. Okay. So there you have it. You have your two opinions right now from the Master Assassin, Sergeant Alexander, 158, and my lovely wife, Tiana. We have went to see the movie, and uh, it does get two thumbs up from us. And uh, there is room for a sequel. I will say that.